grace and peace as we talk about God, the metaphor for God, of God. The very first metaphor that we have, scripturally at least, for God is going to be the wind of God, Ruach Elohim. And that wind of God, it is both wind, but it's also spirit. And it's associated with the breath of God. The first human being becomes this living breath because of God breathing the life directly into us. And that Ruach of God is that presence of God, right, in us, that life force. And it not is just our breath, but it's the heartbeat it is incorporated in our very essence and so this is it's a very hebrew um, jewish understanding and blessing but it's a very christian understanding so the ruler of the universe the creator the redeemer the sustainer is alive the very manifestation of God breathes with every breath we have. And as we're coming into the Sunday that is Pentecost, that breath of God is going to come with that flame. You can't have flame without oxygen, with what I'll wiggle in here as breath, right? And I would think of Moses first experiencing God in that burning bush and being not able to even have a pronounceable name, right? I will be what I will be. But that unpronounceable essence that encompasses God, what that really is, is this unfolding process of God with us, God becoming, God creating and supporting, teaching and healing, that possibility, the newness that breathes in and out of each one of us, life itself. as we move into now a time of coming to understand good breath once more. How powerful is that metaphor of God? The breath of life setting us free in new possibilities. Amen.